Hello everyone, and welcome back to Essen's step-by-step -step software video series. Today's video will focus on the progress note overview, the objective of which is to familiarize yourselves with the components of a typical ECW progress note. This is only an overview and more videos are going to be made for most of the sections that we cover today. So let's begin at the top at the subjective portion with the chief complaint, which is typically entered via free text as such, Note the receptacle, which can be used to delete anything that is written. Next is the HPI, and notice the change in colors. Orange is, of course, like the chief complaint, where you can click on to change the section, but purple, in this case, signifies a template. This template, pain management, has subheadings, such as low back pain and hip pain, and those will be in green, and then any data entered is going to be in black text. Alternatively, Look at the next template, which is gastroenterology, with GERD and constipation as the subheading is in green, and then the data entered in black. The next section is current medication or medication reconciliation. And this shows several drugs that have already been given in the past or being given presently. Note the four letters over here that will help you decide the status of a medication. T in this case stands for taking. D here stands for discontinued. And then N stands for not taking. And U stands for unknown. If there's a medication that we don't see that we want, notice that there will be multiple dosages to choose from and maybe even multiple forms to choose from. Now we have singular here. A note can be put there, and the source can be put here. And then you can switch between taking, not taking, discontinued. And the last thing to do in a given section is to make sure that it is verified. This is a checkbox, and it signifies to the computer that you actively took part in this particular section of the progress note, and it's a good practice to keep up. Moving on to past medical history, you can search or free text. Both options are available, and the waste receptacle can be used to delete. Notice allergies is the next section. And with allergies, there are several options to choose from, several drop-down menus that are required. And only after they've been filled out does it officially come up as an allergy. And again, the verification button is a useful habit to get into, and it's available for both sections here. Next is surgical history, which requires a date with the month and the year, as well as the surgery itself. But other than that, it's fairly similar to the other histories that we've seen so far. Verification and hospitalizations are the same. For family history, there are a few drop down menus and different things to type in. Note that when I type in a year and the patient is alive, then the age comes up by itself. I don't have to type anything in. Whereas with deceased, the age does not come up. Diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, and a few other common things are available to check off. And anything additional can be written here. Notice that there's a non-contributory button in case the disease in question has nothing to do with the past family medical history. Social history also uses templates. And let's see what this looks like out in our progress note. All these things that we filled out are available. 
Next is review of systems. Which uses templates. Vital signs. which gives you a horizontal template to fill out. Followed by the physical examination. Note that in ECW, it is better to use the physical examination than the examination button. And again, these are various templates that can be used. And notice that you can exit out, or you can go from section to section with the arrows. Here we are in assessment, and this is where ICD codes can be found. Now notice, you can have multiple assessments, and that primary is labeled as P. And again, anything can be removed if so desired. And preventative medicine is also a template. And treatment. Notice that the two ICD coded diagnoses that I chose are available here again. Procedures, immunization, therapeutic injections, diagnostic imaging, lab reports, procedure orders, preventative medicine will be covered in another video. Note for next appointment that I have my ICD codes with my diagnoses here. CPT codes can be entered here. and that will look as such. And I can choose my follow-up here as well. And if I click this button done, it will offer me other options for various quality measure metrics and any orders that I want to send to pharmacies will be here. As said before, this is just meant as an overview. This video has many different features that will be expanded upon in future videos. Hopefully you got something out of this particular video and it'll help build the map in your minds of how a progress note in ECW should look. Thank you for your attention and enjoy the rest of your day.